Hello boys and girls. Today's story is going to be a very funny story called Scaredy Squirrel. It's written and illustrated by Melanie Watt. And here's a picture of Scaredy Squirrel. So we're going to read and find out what he is so scared about and what he does to overcome his fears. It even comes with a warning label, which we will read. It says, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. My goodness, so official. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. Kind of reminds us of what we're doing during quarantine. Hmm. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. And this says, the unknown. So this is what he's scared about. A few things Scaredy Squirrel's afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, and sharks. I'm actually also scared of tarantulas. They are creepy. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place, and there are no tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, or sharks. But there's disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts, same old place. So let's look and see what he does throughout the week. Monday, he's up in his tree. Tuesday, he's up in his tree. Oh, look, he moved a little bit on Wednesday. And then Thursdays, he's over here. And Friday, and then Saturday, and then Sunday. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. 6.45 a.m., wake up. 7 o'clock a.m., eat a nut. 7.15 a.m., look at the view. 12 o'clock noon, eat a nut. 12.30, look at the view. 5 o'clock p.m., eat a nut. 5.31, look at the view. 8 o'clock, go to sleep. Every day, that's what he does. But... Let's just say, for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. Look at that kit. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. Parachute, bug spray, mask and rubber gloves, hard hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, net, band-aid, and sardines. Hmm. I wonder what he's gonna do with all these things. What to do in case of an emergency according to Scaredy Squirrel. Number one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, exit the tree. If there's absolutely, definitely, truly no other option. And then it says right here, dramatization. He is funny. And here is his exit plan. Exit one, <clears throat> note to self, watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Exit two, note to self, do not land in river. If avoidable, use sardines. Oh, if unavoidable, use sardines to distract sharks. Exit three, note to self, look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming the ground. Exit four, note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, plain dead is always a good option. So here's the different ways that he can use his emergency kit and his exit plans if he's in danger. With his, his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. 
day after day he watches until one day. Thursday, 9.37 a.m. <gasps> Boys and girls, what does he see? He sees killer bees. A killer bee approaches. Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This is not part of the plan. <laughs> Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit. <gasps> oh no. But something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive. Until he lands in a bush. <laughs> there he is. I think I was supposed to read this part first. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bees, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, germs, and sharks. But he did land in a bush. Score. 5.7 hmm. and plays dead this reminds me of Spongebob a little bit where it goes 30 minutes later what is he doing he's playing dead one hour later two hours later it's just playing dead the whole time finally scaredy squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today so he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes in his life. Hmm, I wonder what those drastic changes will be. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45, wake up. 7 o'clock, eat a nut. 7.15, look at the view. 9.37 a.m., Jump into the unknown. Ooh, dangerous. 9.45, play dead. 11.45, return home. 12 o'clock noon, eat a nut. 12.30 p.m., look at the view. 5 o'clock p.m., eat a nut. 5.31 p.m., look at the view. 8 o'clock p.m., go to sleep. So he added jumping into the unknown and playing dead. How exciting his new schedule is. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick up, pick it up just yet. Because guess where it is? It's in the poison ivy. The end. I hope that you love this story as much as I do. Now, I know that today and the past month has been kind of scared and maybe we're like scaredy squirrel. We've got lots of things that we're scared of. But remember what he did. He was able to overcome his um, fears and he was very brave and he did something new. So maybe that means that you and your family go on a nature walk together or that you guys go on a hike together or you spend more time outside or you know do do something outside i think that is would be very beneficial it's very good to get some vitamin d from the sun so i hope that you love this book i hope that we're not all scaredy squirrels but let me know what you do to overcome your fears like scaredy squirrel i hope you have a wonderful day bye